this be the pirate Rich Gale here on YouTube, Rich Gen XL Square. It's time for us to continue with the tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 5, Rise of the Pirate God. I hope you watch this to the end, I appreciate it very much. It means I don't have to kill all ya. Anyhow, uh, last we left off, we finally got Guybrush's uh, body reunited her with his spirit. So now, <clears throat> be a bona fide zombie. So now we're going to take this, uh, you know, we got the poster off the wall. And now... Alright, corpsey body. Let's go get that Cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Arr. Don't you leave me here! Come on! At least give me some gum! Sorry. So here we go. Ha-ha! I'm back, LeChuck! Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want! So get ready to be touched! To <laughs> death! Yes. Sharp, pointy death! Finally! Ouch! How piece you that stings! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With yeah. just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck, I'm already married Till to- death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Elaine, my dear, please dispose of this irritating oh, horse. Boy. With pleasure. <laughs> Elaine, sweetie, stop! It's me! What? Good shot, but Good you, sir! I found the map! Mr. Winslow! How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. Yeah, well, big time. Okay. Powerful now than I could have ever been as a lowly governor or a pitiful pirate. Stupid sponge. I like you better when you were smaller. Smaller. I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead. Give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> Sponge. Listen up, Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Mm, yeah. All right. Let me just see here. Okay. Then we get the ring and the hook. Okay. Well, now we got those. Ah. Um, it's time to s talk to Galen. Caleb, whatever. Bingo. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again. Caleb. All right. Why are there other smaller rips in the crossroads? Oh, those are for ambience. They created a nice mood light for those. The rips in reality are for mood lighting? Mood lighting? Are you nuts? 
Lechuk must have discovered the monkeys of the video. Monkey and you have been able to come and drop the location, location, location of the world. Of the world. The physical world. That would have weakened the integrity of the fabric uh -huh. between the worlds. Alright. Can you give me a first spell? You said you were going to try to be a cult, right? cult, right? Beast of the senses. Try to watch your game. Monkey. No, it's not for me. It's really a sport. Oh, come on, that doesn't even sound like 3 3 4. Here, try this. No, I don't need to die. I never mind. I have the best senses. Like a sign, you're a little bit of your skin size. Black out of the sight with a cover for your eyes. The small mouth mouth that next to the tiny whisper word. A sound of so PT in the air they have never heard. A light, light touch for an advertiser. Stay dangerously when thrive. A delicate feather, pluck from a bird, bird half alive. Your sixth sense sense loaded, loaded mate, may not yet yeah. belt. You'll find them that a secret word all about a tiger belt. Fight uh -huh. the smell of the after dinner uh -huh. treat. Eliminate the order of the urge to eat. To keep off all way way, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. We now know what we need. Now, uh, let's see, sword fighting. Because we need to do that. We need to get that. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Oh, ho, ho, that rock rib! Always good for a laugh! Aye, aye, aye. All right, well, we got that. Let's get through. Woven of the finest meshes. All right, up we go. Oh, I better get the odorants here. Old brute, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. Alright, going through again. Whoa! Alright. So far, so good. I'm getting everything I need. Back to the treasure hunting area. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. Hey, 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 hey. 
Can barely I guess hear since him. he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Now, if I notice... Alrighty. Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Can oh, barely they're like them. tiny annoying golden mosquitoes. Yeah. Alrighty. Sorry guys, I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Alrighty. Tree board. Whoa, Nelly. The spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. Huh. You can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. Yeah. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. Mm. What the heck am I, anyway? I feel one step removed from a zombie. Yeah. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that LeChuck has known so well. So you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. Yeah. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. No. <clears throat> Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But yeah. such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. No. Oh. A four-headed monkey? Hm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. Fair enough. I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sex. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Ever since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this guy, Brush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Lafley in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. Oh. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yep. Yes. Nah. I have a semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Yeah. Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. You mean my shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say Bingo. the shred was his own? 
All right. Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa, you don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait, I believe you. Ah, oh, man. Well, I mean, wait a minute. A feather. A tiny touch. Bingo. Gross. But there's a hypnotized monkey over there. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Mm. On a treasure chest. What's in here? Oh, what a surprise. It's locked. Well, use your dumb hook on it. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. Oh. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is... careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. Oh, well, actually... There is trust in it, but... Belt like, buckle. Alright, let's get back to that rip before Chucky shows up. Let's get in there. All right. We've got that. So now we need a secret of some sort. So let's go to the thieves den. Welcome back, friend. Try something here. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe. Hello? Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Alright. That pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. Alright, and we got a secret. All righty. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. All right. All right. Well, we got the. We actually got the deodorant, so that should be good for our, for the smell. So I need to. All right. The deodorant will help us with the smell. All right. So taste so bland. Oh, the gum. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. All right. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping. My own body. Good enough. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Gum still like Taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Yep. 
Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. Right. Yep, back to the bar. We got everything we need. How about a towel, sir? Thanks. Back in my regular digs, only slightly worse for wear, considering. All right. Time to get back through the rip. Well now. Now, it's time to finish this off. We have everything we need. Back to the crossroads, because we're now going to shrink this thing down. The sponge. Now... I've well, just full base. So, let's mm. see. Diet of the senses. So, first off... Put that blindfold on the sh on the sponge. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. Yep. This blindfold ought to do the trick. All righty. Next sound. So. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, third sense. Uh, touch. So touch works for. Uh, oh, yep, the feather. Dead seagull feather. A light touch for an appetizer. Stay true and thrive. A delicate feather. Plucked from a bird half alive. Yep. All right. It's a secret. So what's the secret gonna do here? Hmm? Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Yep. All right. Now the smell, well, that's what the deodor is for. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Yep. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Alright, the sponge grande is going to shrink down. And now... To keep so off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. There you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Yep. Uh-oh. I hope that's not indigestion. Nope, it's not indigestion. Ah! And there goes the sponge. What? Ah, don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guy Brush, help! The voodoo lady! She brought me back! The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friend! Yep. Get up with the old backward sea slug! Yeah. Enough of this! Yeah. That's not good. This be going on far too long. Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks, and... That's my laney poo. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Yeah. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. 
The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. Wrong! Whoa! A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> uh -oh. You see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh! Uh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do yep. what now? Look out! Ah! Uh oh. Huh. All right, all right, all right. I'll be back for you, lass. Let's shock! <laughs> Think of all the times you've tried to destroy me. Ah, uh, <laughs> to be fair. Oh, Ow. all yeah. that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, furry board. Ah! Oh, all right. Oh. Guy brush. <sighs> all right, I need to use the uh, the hook. On, uh, on, uh, on the main sail. I've always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Freakwood! Mighty Pi- Ooh! Whoa! Oh. Okay. Lanikins! 3P! Attack the truck! I'm on it, sweetie. All right, all right, all right. Oh, let's just go. Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Oh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. You monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Oh, yeah, we're gonna. Do this. <laughs> oh, oh, skeleton! Got the keys. Yeah, guy is getting keel hold, but. You know, he's dead at this moment. Ow! <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Uh. All right. Okay, I got the keys. Bring the keys. I got the keys. There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I need... Come on, come on. Can I brush it? I don't see the barrels. Uh-oh. This ain't good. It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! Okay. 
I gotta find the right spot. Alright, let's get back down. Uh, come on! Why can't I click on it again? Oh, because I'm stuck. Oh, boy. But Chuck... Oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is yeah. the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. Okay, that works. Uh, I hope. Yep. Yep, that works. Making a mess! I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. Okay. Alright, um. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here we go, get the keyhole to you. Smash me into. Alright, I said that. Okay. Da -da -da. You know uh -oh. what's so great about this? Is. Ah. We're both getting our cardio in for the day? Yeah. The simplicity. It's just me, me, my ship. Elaine. And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. I think it's time for you to swap the deck. Oh, okay. Elaine! Hi, Brush! I like the cannon! Yes, dear! Ah. The seesaw. Let's see. Uh, yeah, get on there. Perfect. Yeah. Oh! Die brush! Oh my god, you look terrible! Uh, Lechuk's giving me a bit of the business. You two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Kybrush, what are you doing? It's the only way. What? Is it over? Hello? Did 
Did we win? I think we won. I guess we did. Hmm. All right. Well, wait a minute. We still have the ring. Let's use that there. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ah, clever. Yep. Wow, what a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Wow! Die rush! Oh, it's about time! It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead! Is that why you gave me- You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Streetwood. <laughs> you asked yep. LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. Well... <laughs> That's my plunder bunny. <laughs> well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And yep. you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Ah. Uh. But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're going to get it for that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of Tales of Monkey Island and the end of the franchise. This has been a fun game to play. Now that we are done with it. Well, we'll move on to something else LucasArts related in this spot. Not sure which yet. But this was actually a live one. I didn't think I'd get to try this, but when I play this, because when I started it on this franchise, uh, Tales of Monkey Island was not available. Because uh, Telltale had closed their doors. And then uh, I guess it got reopened, and we got these uh, fun games again that Telltale's made. Now, of course, this means that the pirate voice will be gone after this. Which I'm a little bit thankful for. That can be a bit... Pokemon like this can be a bit rough on my voice. Har 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 har. So, um, next time around we get to LucasArts, I'll probably be putting something else in. I've got a few LucasArts titles that I can play. And I'm glad to get this done. We've come across many memorable characters in this series with Guybrush, LeChuck, Elaine, uh, the Voodoo Lady, Murray, and I got to admit, Morgan is a good standout in this entry. But with the me with this all done, we are going to be. Uh, Eventually, I'll be mentioning this in my uh, retrospectives. And uh, with the series, as was has been pretty good. I think the only down part has been the fourth entry, Escape from Monkey Island. But that is, of course, my opinion. Now, now, we had some very fun characters in this whole series, in this game, and in this title. And I'm glad that I finished it. Uh, my only regret is I didn't get to see uh, Murray again in this entry. Unless that be Murray there. <laughs> uh, using the Telltale tool was a bit brilliant. And this was a fine ending to the series, if you ask me. Now, 
would it be nice if in the future we see the series uh, show up again with a new entry? Yeah, I think it would be good. But until that time, we will be content with completing the series with this entry. Tales of Monkey Island, five games, five brilliant entries. And this was a very good treat. Now, uh, we're waiting because there's still one little final cutscene we need to see, and then it'll be all. However, please, I, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. I have stuff going up every day in the afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, during uh, the morning, I have stuff going up. Uh, following this, there's going to be a Call of Cthulhu. On Call of Cthulhu, I do runs through the game of Monstrum. I do, uh, I'm playing through, uh, uh, a Little Nightmares and a few other games. So, again, please subscribe to the channel, check everything out. What's happening here? So, my child. Have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs> well, that's it. Have fun all. Arr, ha, 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 ha.